All right, another solo building tools lesson. Uh, we're going to look at some more raw materials today that you can start to build into your playing, start to make kind of muscle memory, stuff that you can just call up when you're improvising. And more specifically, what we're doing today is starting to look at sort of combining elements together. So obviously, you know, we need to practice our sort of basics. Uh, first off, our kind of arpeggios and scales and patterns and runs and whatever it might be, string bends, it doesn't matter what the elements are. We need to sort of hone them on their own. But then we do need to then start thinking about combining them. Um, obviously, you're going to sort of be doing that when you're improvising, if you're playing a solo or, or writing a solo, you know. However you're doing it, you're going to be using a mixture of elements, you know, to make it coherent, to make it sound like a solo, to make it interesting. It's a piece of music. But what we can also do is kind of practice that process and get that into our fingers as well in that we, you know, we can train ourselves to become very used to sort of switching between those different elements, you know, at will. So this is a starting point for that, this exercise. So what we're going to be doing is combining arpeggio and scale together. So we're going to do this up the arpeggio, down the scale exercise here, okay? And we're going to start out here in uh, the, uh, A minor here on the 12th fret on the A string, okay? And we're going to use this sort of combination of this A natural minor pattern. Yeah, and the arpeggio that sits over that, the you know minor arpeggio. So what we're going to do is walk up the arpeggio and then back down the scale, okay? So for the purposes of this exercise, we're going to go up just as far as this note G here, and then we're going to head back down the scale. So I'll show you what I mean. So with the tab on the screen, we're now looking at... There it is. There's the exercise. OK, so fairly straightforward uh, just to keep it sort of in position and without that finger slide or that move, we're just stopping at that high note G there. OK, rather than going up to the next A octave. So once again, the pattern is. OK, up the arpeggio. And then as we get to that high G, we're going to just walk back down the scale. <laughs> 